Hey, welcome back to the shop today, everybody. Today we are working on a little go-kart. Uh, it's got some carburetor problems, so we're gonna try a cheap uh, carburetor from Amazon, see if it does the trick, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get this little thing running. Um, stick around. So I got this little go-kart. It's a, uh, two, the seat's out of it, but it's a two-seater Murray. Um, it does have a six-horse Tecumseh engine. Um, Is the six horsepower power sport. Now I did ride this, this thing does run. Um, it was hard to start, like it took a bunch of pulls to start. I thought, well, that's kind of weird. Um, got it home, parked it in the garage for the first night. Uh, came out the next day and the entire garage smelled like gas. I was like, man, what the hell? So um, looked at the carburetor, the carburetor was leaking. So it was actually dripping fuel directly out of the carburetor. Took the carburetor apart, cleaned it, um, no help there, put it back together, still leaked. So I ordered a new carburetor. Let's uh, see what we gotta do to get this go-kart running again. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's really hard to do this. There's a bunch of junk on that tank. There's really no good way for me to get light in there and you just see it at the same time. Anyways, there's a bunch of crap in this tank. Um, so let's get that cleaned up. So the very first thing that I did, um, was I wanted to shut the fuel off. So I had this old shutoff valve here with an inline filter because I did see some junk in the tank. Um, put the shutoff on it and the shutoff does work exactly like it should. Killed the fuel to the uh, carburetor and this sucker still, once the bowl got full, it just spilled out of the carburetor. So I'm going to take this tank off. Um, cause I want to clean this tank out and there are two bolts right here. One on each side that you have to remove to take this tank out. Make sure your fuel's off. You should be able to pull that tank right out. I'm going to clean this tank out. So anytime you're messing with gas, you want to to get it back in the right kind of container so we'll just empty this fuel out After you vigorously shake that tank around, you're gonna to wanna to take this off and you're gonna to wanna to get all of the rocks out of it. It shouldn't take no time. But you wanna make sure there's nothing in here. Here are no rocks. You wanna make sure the sucker's empty. Um, now there's some sediment probably still inside from the dust off the rocks. I'm gonna put a little bit of fresh gas back in it, uh, move it around, swish it around, dump it out, uh, maybe blow it out with compressed air, and then this tank should be clean enough. Okay, so we've got our tank all cleaned out. Um, Blew it out with compressed air, ran some fresh gas through it, uh, filtered it out, dumped it out. So that's good to go, should be clean. Um, the carburetor is already off of this. I don't think I really need to show you how to do that. It's very simple, it's a couple bolts. Um, let's go over the new carburetor that we got on the workbench and uh, hopefully get this machine running. Okay, so this was the, uh, the air filter assembly that I pulled off of that cart. Um, not sure if this piece of foam was actually supposed to be there, but it's there. Um, this is the carburetor we pulled off of it. Um, the gasket around the bowl was leaking pretty bad. I tried to uh, repair it. It was not working. Uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but it says Tecumseh right on the bottom. So this is a factory unit. Now I did order this awesome Chinese uh, carburetor here. It might be Chinese crap. It might actually work. There was lots of good reviews. I actually got this on Amazon. So let's show you what you get inside of this kit this was made by panari or panari not exactly sure the pronunciation but if it does work i'll put a link to the description uh below if it doesn't work i'll just tell you that it's a piece of crap and, and stay away from it and learn from my mistakes so you do get some fuel line here it appears to be the correct diameter get a 
some sort of foam filter. You do get a filter. Let's see if it's the same. All right, that's a good sign. Okay, appears to be the same size, so that's a plus in the right direction. Get a primer bulb. You get a savior. Savior. I hope it saves this go kart. You get a savior spark plug. I don't know if we're going to use that. We'll pull the old one out and see if it's the same. Get an intake gasket. You get a little uh, ring here. I believe this goes around your primer bulb like that on your other uh, part. But you do get a fuel shut off. Does work, so that's good. Some clips and the carburetor. So let's move all this other crap aside. Let's compare these two carburetors. So right off the bat, visually, um, they look the same. Uh, okay. Bolt holes look like they line up. That's positive. I've ordered uh, carburetors before and they were like not even close. Um, okay, everything looks the same there. Your top plate, your adjustment screws, it's free. Everything looks the same. The holes are in the same spot. Underneath this black plug is your adjustment screw as well. So, yeah, I mean, everything appears on the outside to, uh, to be what we need. So let's get this bad boy installed on the go-kart. So when I got this, the, uh, the fuel line was actually mounted Sorry, like this all the way around and down and underneath. Now all the pictures that I can find of the Tecumseh's um, new show the fuel line going down in between here, straight down through. Um, so it pretty much just goes straight up all the way through to that other side. It's a straight shot. So I am gonna use some clear line because uh, allows a guy to monitor what's going on inside of that fuel line. Hopefully you guys can, can see this, but basically I, I have a little piece of fuel on here. I'm going to put my shut off right in the back. Um, and then I'm going to run my line straight through here. So my fuel shut off will be in the rear. Very first thing, this old uh, gasket. on here is it's a rubber crap on here so we're gonna clean this up with uh, some brake parts cleaner some carbon choke cleaner should be a nice uh, smooth surface for our new gasket here new carburetor here we've got our new gasket we'll line those up and uh, I'm gonna put a bolt to the back side here. Put it on. The same thing with the front. I'm going to run all these nuts down. It's not the easiest thing in the world to get your hand into. So I'll put the nut on the other side here and then we'll start hooking everything else up. So we've got our fuel line on. It goes to the brass one right on the bottom there. I'm not sure if you can see that. This top one it actually goes to the vent coming out of your uh, your valve cover up here. 
maybe not, maybe they're three-eighths. So hopefully you can see this, but um, the one over here you can get with the socket. The one over here, it actually comes in contact. So you actually need like a Phillips head screwdriver. Go ahead and tighten that one up. Have our new carburetor on. Um, let's put some uh, fresh gas in the tank. Let's uh, hit this primer bulb, make sure that it's working. Make sure we can see some gas through our line. Let's try to fire this up. safety cans. Uh, one thing I thought about before we fired up, let's go ahead and uh, compare this spark plug to the one that's in it and see what that looks like. Oh man. The camera can see this. This. This thing is loot like, I didn't put a wrench on it. Maybe that's why I was having a hard time starting too. Oh. Oh yeah, not even close. I mean, surely if this was the wrong piston, or wrong piston, if this was a wrong spark plug and it was that long, you'd be blowing a hole in the top of the piston, so. We're gonna stick with uh, this one, which is a champion, not a savior. So we'll, uh, so we'll just get that thing snug down. I can't believe that was that loose. I've ridden this go-kart like twice. And then we parked it in the garage. A little snuggage. There we go. fuel valve there okay so we should be able to see fuel at the front I know you can't really see it but there's fuel in that line um, and man, I wish I could get in here but if you press this primer bulb sorry you should be able to see I don't know if you guys can see that there's fuel squirting up which means we're getting fuel all right, so this is no camera trickery. This is the very first, uh, very first pull here. All right, well, that's a good sign. This doesn't have a choke. so um, don't know how it runs yet but just sitting here idling it seems like it's doing really good um, this entire kit something I didn't mention this whole kit with every single part that you saw is only $17 that's with the air filter and the plug even though it was wrong the um, fuel line the carburetor the gasket the air filter everything was 17 bucks on Amazon so uh, I'll run this thing a little bit see how it does
I was supposed to record it taking off, but I failed there. the uh video picked it up or not but that thing absolutely rips so um i'll leave a, a link in the description to that carburetor below uh everything's working out just like i thought 17 bucks guys can't beat it bad 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 boss steve so bad everybody that wraps it up on the six horsepower Tecumseh on the uh, Murray two-seater go-kart had some carburetor issues put a cheap carburetor on there from Amazon it was $17 with all of that other stuff that you guys saw had no issues I did ride that cart for about I would say we put about uh, I don't know 20 25 minutes on it and didn't have any issues whatsoever um, I think that thing performed exactly like it should have so all in all you know pretty complete kit I'll put a link in the description below. I hope this helps somebody out there. Um, with the exception of the one wheel peel, that kind of sucked. But um, other than that, that go-kart absolutely flies. So if anybody has any questions, please let me know. Hopefully this helps somebody out there. Uh, appreciate everybody for watching. As always, until next time, thank you and take care.